Oh wow! Oh my gosh! Welcome back friends, oh my gosh, do we ever have a treat today? Today we have Jin performing his brand new song The Astronaut with Coldplay. In my last video where I reacted to the astronaut music video from Jin, you guys let me know that this is the final song that he's gonna be releasing before being instated to the military. So I was not expecting to get a live performance of this song from him. If you know me and have been watching my videos for a while, you know I obsess over a good live performance. So Jin with Coldplay, I have such high expectations for this one. So let's not wait any longer. Let's throw on the headphones and get into this one. Jin performing the astronaut live with Coldplay. Here we go. Oh wow. Jin taking center stage. Look at how massive this show is for Coldplay. Wow. They're, so, they're such a huge band. They've been around for so long. Ah, listen to the crowd. We've got some BTS fans there for sure. Wow. Jin sounds so great here. One thing I do want to point out is he is singing to a backing track. It's very, very subtle, but you can notice here there's a bit of a timing issue. Jin sings it a bit later and the backing track is a bit sooner. Now, some people are like, no, BTS doesn't sing to backing tracks. They don't use auto-tune. It's all them live. And yeah, well, it is. They still, so many artists sing to a backing track. It just helps fill out the vocal and make it sound more full, more like the original recording. It's almost like a guide vocal. Everybody does this. It's so common. Listen if you can pick it up here, um, just the slight timing. Jin sings a little bit later than the backing track does, and that's how you can tell that there is still a track singing behind him. Right there. Super subtle. Man, he sounds phenomenal, though. He sings these ballads so well. Oh yeah. Oh, he sings that so well. Holy. Again, this high note here, I'm ready. Ah. Oh. Jin just shines through on those high notes so well. When he switches on that falsetto, that's a very tough thing to do as a singer. Go from your full chest voice up to your falsetto voice where you're singing in your head. But he does it so flawlessly here. He's so impressive live. I just, I love hearing this great vocal performance live from him, presumably without much practice or rehearsal. I, like, this is in, in Argentina, so I'm assuming he flew in, they had like a day of rehearsal, and then just went right into this. So, well done by Jin. And that's so low for him, too. Oh man, he's such a good performer. It's cool to see him in a different setting, too, than with BTS, him performing with Coldplay. I think Chris Martin is singing... Yeah, Chris Martin is singing harmonies on top of Jin too. This is so sick. Comparing it to BTS stuff, where Jin performs with BTS, it's rare that we get too many harmonies in there. Every once in a while, Jungkook or Jimin will sing a harmony with, with Jin. Uh, I know there's some songs where Jungkook and Jin sing so well together, a few harmonies. I can't think of the songs off the top of my head, but it's cool to hear Chris Harmon, a different vocalist, Chris Harmon, <laughs> Chris Martin singing harmonies with Jin right here. It's just so cool. It's a, it's a different take on the whole song. Let's, let's hear this again. Wow. They blend so well together, they sound like one voice. Wow. 
It's also so cool that we get to see Jin perform this with Coldplay, who co-wrote the song together, which brings me to today's video sponsor. Are you a singer, songwriter, or artist who dreamt about getting your music on major streaming platforms like Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, and Deezer? Well, with the help of DistroKid, that dream is possible. DistroKid is an online music distributor that helps get your music onto these major streaming platforms and so many more. I've been using DistroKid for over five years now, and they are the only music distributor that I trust to get my music onto these platforms. With their awesome features and services, they have helped my band get hundreds of thousands of streams on Spotify. And this is entirely possible for you too, only if you make sure to get your music on these streaming platforms in the first place. You can sign up for DistroKid for only $20 a year, and it's going to let you upload unlimited songs to all of the major streaming platforms. So feel free to use the link in the description down below to save 7% off your first year and get your music heard today. Okay, back to this one. Ah, dang. Here we go again. Ah, it sounds so good. Whoa, look at that stadium. Oh my gosh. Okay, I knew Coldplay was big, but I didn't know they were this big of a band to sell out this crazy huge stadium. This actually reminds me a lot of a BTS show, seeing all the like, BTS does the army bombs, right? With all the lights all around. And this is really cool. Uh, somehow they managed to get lights in all of these seats, which is so amazing. Video you guys might want to check out is my vlog of when I went and saw BTS in concert in LA. Link it there if you want to check out that video. It reminded me so much of this. Oh my gosh, this song is so beautiful. Ah, there we go, that Chris Martin harmony. That's funny, in this song, uh, the reaction video that I did to the music video, I thought I could hear him singing that harmony right there along with him, which I thought was interesting for Chris Martin to be in the song with Jin, but not featured on it. Obviously, we knew that they co-wrote the song together, but it's cool to hear him actually sing this. It, I was almost 100% sure that it was him in that video, but now I know for sure it's him seeing them sing it together. Wow. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! Okay, I gotta talk about this too. Sorry guys, I know I've been pausing so much through this, but I have so much to talk about here. So every time he's been going to that no one else, he's been singing falsetto, where it's kind of in his head. But this one, he changes up his vocal tone. Last chorus, you normally want to make it a bit bigger, a little more energy, and he sings it full voice from his chest. So this is a big shift, and it adds more energy to it. Instead of it going up to the falsetto, it's the full voice, which just brings so much power, but is also so tricky to do, because it's easier to sing those higher notes in your falsetto register and your head voice, um, just naturally your range will be a lot higher up there so I've never heard Jin sing a belty note like this from his chest this is amazing listen to him belt this note here wow Jin's voice has improved so much again ah oh. Oh, and he goes even higher on it. Oh, Jin settled down. Oh my gosh. It's cool to see the way that he sings this too. Normally when you sing a higher note, you want to be very tall in the chest and like make yourself big so that you can sing those notes. What he's doing is bending over, which traditionally you don't want to do when you sing, but this reminds me a lot of Jungkook. He's taking a page out of Jungkook's book. Whenever JK goes for those high notes, you always see him bend over into the microphone. So I don't know. I'm sure they work on their vocals together and stuff, always trying to improve um, and expand their vocal range and expand the way that they sing but what he does here too is he adds in a little like vibrato hitting a note even higher than what he's already singing still full voice dang Jin get it <laughs> man oh look at that smile Wow, Jin! Oh my gosh. He just becomes a better and better singer every every day, every month, every year.
Wow. I'm blown away. Did you guys get chills watching this performance too? Uh, and you know what also kind of hurts my heart is this is probably the last time we'll see Jin on stage for so long before he goes and does his mandatory military service. So just seeing this this image of Jin right here on stage flying around, really able to command the stage. It's not like a BTS show where he's sharing it with six other guys who all have the eyes on him. Everybody here is focusing on Jin. This is his song. He's performing with Coldplay, but you can just see the way he commands the stage, the smile he has in his eyes. It's, it's kind of bittersweet to see that like this might be the last time he gets to perform for a couple of years. But look at that, arms out, spinning around. Ah, oh, I love to see that. Wow. An emotional song with an emotional performance too. So much more meaning behind just the song. Oh, they're Kim Sok Jin, they're chanting. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love that. I love that. It shows the little rehearsal that they did get is that they sang the wrong parts. Also, we got to appreciate that Jin is singing this song in English, which I know English is not, he's not the most strong in, in English. And so much of the song is in English. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. And I love you. Oh my gosh, Jin! Gracias, Argentina. Uh, wow. And thank you, Danny, Bill, Guy, and Chris. Krigo. Oh my gosh, Jin, take a bow. That was phenomenal. What an amazing performance. I am blown away. So emotional, so heartfelt. Not only the song, but this maybe being Jin's last performance. So good. Oh my gosh. Guys, what did you think of this? Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of the song, this performance of Jin maybe not performing again for a long, long time. I'd love to hear your thoughts. I want to let you guys know, if you do want some more content from me over on my Patreon, which is linked in the description down below, I've watched so much BTS stuff. I just did the 2022 special episodes of Run BTS. I've been going through all the old Run BTS stuff in the soup season one season two bon voyage all the docu-series like burn the stage bring the soul break the silence all of those over there so if you want some more videos from me some more content feel free to check over my patreon and uh make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel already if you're not because i know a ton of you guys watch my videos but aren't subscribed so it really helped me out a ton if you did but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed today's video a ton thank you so so much for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day we'll catch you on the next one peace Ow.